gonna jump right in to June BoxyCharm add-ons. Super excited about these products right here. I got four products in total, didn't go too crazy because I subscribed to so many things this month. EBY Ebby by Sofia Vergara, Cosbox, all kinds of stuff. So I went with these four. Let's get into it. Firstly and foremost, we have our Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. It is for moisturizing and firming, and that it surely is. So I actually got two of these. One of them came in my BoxyCharm Premium, which I love the products in. It was my first month ever ordering BoxyCharm Premium. So I did get one of these guys in there and it was great timing. Please go over and check out my stories. My girlfriend really could use your help and um, some pampering. So what I did was I went ahead and let her have the first one that came in my premium and I waited for this one. So I'm not sure if she's used it yet, but I'll use it tonight. I am super excited. So it looks super, super lustrous. It's really like thick and creamy, I noticed, because I wanted to make sure hers had a tab as I threw the box away. Super, super cakey. It has that thick avocado consistency. I'm thinking that the retinol will really have a chance to sit and soak into the skin with it being that kind of a texture. So I'm really excited about this one see a little info on it this cozy retinol powered sleeping mask has avocado matcha gently smoothing pha and encapsulated retinol which is released throughout all hours of the night for skin recovery so you can scoop a dime size amount onto your skin as a final step of an evening routine pat it in for optimal absorption and wash in the morning use two to three times a week or you can use it right away as a put on, wash off, scoop and gently spread a thick layer across the face from forehead to chin, avoiding direct contact with the eye and lip area. Rinse with lukewarm water after 10 minutes, use two to three times a week. So that's nice, I can use it in the morning as a quick mask before I get ready or overnight when I sleep. That'll be tonight. Glam Glow's Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser. I'm super excited about this. I love a dual action product. The only thing that I've seemed to find is that when it's a two in one product, a lot of times it tends to be a lot more on the conditioning end of things than it does if it's a hair product, than shampoo. If it's a face product, then cleansing and foaming. So I really don't like that when it's like a shampoo conditioner and it's super cakey and it just doesn't feel clean. So I'm really hoping that this one is more like face wash based and more foamy and a little bit less cakey. But what I'm thinking is that it's gonna have some serious moisture in there rather than drying when you wash. With me having oily pores and whatnot, I'm hoping that it is going to be very bubbly and very cleansing while still conditioning, but we'll see. So I'll use that tonight as my wash before the avocado face mask by Glow Recipe. So the really cool thing about this guy is again, it's a dual product. So it is used on both lips and cheeks, a lip and cheek oil. So it's convenient as you just roll it on and then you can just kind of buff it out. And it comes in a really teeny little size as you can see here, this little box, this little mini base is pretty tiny and it's a little guy. So very convenient, good for travel. One of those items that can stay in the makeup bag I used it on my lips today. I love it. I'm not a big pink tint lip person, but it's like a rosy red peach pink, and it's just absolutely amazing. It feels like a silk, like a velvety silk on those lips. So I'm excited to try it on my cheeks tomorrow and buff it out as a blush. And last but not least, we have this incredible Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation by Becca Cosmetics. This right here is the winner, you guys. So if you go back and you read again in that post that I just made with the images of these four products on the dresser, I don't know what I was thinking. I was really upset. I had the pharmacy honey potion, or I'm sorry, honey pot in my cart, and then it was gone. So I went ahead and just hurried up and checked out. This was the last product I saw and selected before checkout. I did not even think. I just saw four colors and I was like, yep, that one's closest. I didn't even think to click on it and see if I could pick additional shades. So 
I also just posted a video of me using this in my incorrect color and I, I'm so in love with or without it being accurate and exact. This foundation right here is probably my new favorite. I am going to order it immediately in my accurate shade and I'm going to just love it for life. I am so impressed. Okay, you guys, again, it just comes down to skin for me, my complexion, my oiliness, and this product right here is insane. I applied this at about 9.30 this morning. It's about 10 p.m. My skin is not oily. It does not have any greasy feel to it or any thick layer of shiny oil buildup throughout the day and it doesn't feel tacky. So underneath my makeup, I can really just, I can always feel when it's been on there for a few hours, you know? It just feels thick and hot and like it's seeping into the pores. And when I touch it, it will stick to my fingers. This guy right here, no such luck. This is incredible. Mind you, this is my first day wear. So for me to be bragging about something like that is unheard of. I always like to give it some time before I really recommend something. But this is amazing. I mean, from the application to the, the way that it stays all day, the consistency, the breathability, the feel, the packaging, the box, the weight. I love that it's more of a narrow tube, good for being in a makeup bag. I love that it's thicker glass. I always feel like that helps to kind of keep the heat out just a little bit. But this is just an amazing product. I have loved absolutely everything of hers that I've tried from highlighters, to um, rouge uh, to I mean you name it Becca has got it right so I am super impressed with all of my BoxyCharm add-ons I cannot wait to see what next month brings I am super excited I did get to finally do my first choice product so I will fill you in on that and I hope that all of their add-ons are just as good as this month if not better and I really hope you bring back pharmacy honeypot so just know that BoxyCharm all right, everybody, so that's that. I'm gonna get this put together and try to get it up this evening, if not first thing this, first thing tomorrow morning, and I'll have a skincare video for you tomorrow night. Love y'all.